In knotting terminology, a knot that's used to tie two ropes together is called a bend, and the simplest example of a bend knot is this overhand bend. Although this is a common way to tie two ropes together, it's not necessarily the best knot to use. Of course, there are many different ways to tie a bend knot, and if you'd like to see others, then I'll recommend my video 24 Great Bend Knots. I'll put a link in the description, and also at the end of this video. One of the most popular knots for joining two ropes is the sheet bend likely popular because it's easy to tie. The sheep end is also capable of holding a heavy load, and is also easy to untie when finished. The sheep end also has an advantage that it can be made even stronger by doubling the wrap with the second rope, as shown here, and in this case making what's called the double sheep end. But what about the weaver's knot? Well, the weaver's knot is also a bend knot, but for some reason it doesn't have the word bend in its name. The weaver's knot looks similar to the sheep bend, in fact it looks exactly the same, and that's because the sheep bend and the weaver's knot are in fact the same knot. There are a lot of knots that have different names for various reasons, and the weaver's knot, or sheep bend, is also known as the Beckett bend. So which knot is better? Of course, neither, because they're the same. But now you know a little more about this great way to tie two ropes together, and I've shared two different ways to tie the same knot. Thanks for watching, and here's a link to my video, 24 Great Bend Knots. I hope you check it out.